All right, so I wanted to show you guys how I created those animals in Leviticus. So let's go ahead and just create a new project. All right, so just want to show you guys that when you type in animal, these are the options you get. So, as you can see, they're pretty much limited. None of them have, you know, mouths that move or anything like that. So, literally had to create from scratch. So, what I did was, so I'm just going to show you, let's just do... I'm just going to do this gorilla. So, see this gorilla already has a mouth, right? But there's no way it, it will move or anything like that, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our characters. And then we're going to create a new one. doesn't really matter we're just using the face so the face of the gorilla is gray so what I had to do was I had to pretty much change the color um, let's see gray I gotta keep going back and forth to see if it's the right gray close enough all right so uh, we'll remove the hair we'll remove the eyes ears eyebrows nose so all we really need is the mouth right um, so let's change the mouth into something change to something like that easy to talk with all right and then as far as the clothes um, we don't want any clothes all right so that's as simple enough so we will save it like that I'm just gonna close it now there is my character right so I mean it's kind of close but the good thing about the gorilla is that we can change his color so I'm just going to do the eyedropper and change it to that so it matches better. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this man here and only use the mouth. So let's see. It's like you got to really be meticulous with this. Um, let's see. I mean, that's, oh, it's pretty tough because it's so tiny. All right, so now we have a mouth, right? So it can't fit on there. We're going to make it a little bit smaller. So now he has a mouth. It's not perfect, but he has a mouth. So then if you wanted to make it talk, you have to double click it, then go to the actions and let's do a, oop, it's crying. Let's see, talk and angry, let's see. There we go, he's talking. So none of the animals come with it, so you know, if I want them to do anything, so that means if the next scene I wanted to do and make him swap him out for another gorilla and let's just say and be standing like that I will literally have to just keep moving the mouth for each one I mean but it, remember I have to change the color of this again so it's very tedious um, and then try to make it fit this angle that's on 
You see how that looks, you know? So it's very tough. So that's what took so long with those type of, uh, you know, creations and things like that. It's not easy at all, but um, this is how I did it. So if you ever want to go ahead and create your animal project and, you know, wondering how I got the mouth to move, that is what I did. Shalom.